Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about some basketball moves that you can use in the low post if you're an undersized center or an undersized forward who is posting up taller players. Okay, so first off, if you want to become a really good low post player, what you're going to need to work on is your bigger muscles in your legs, the front of your thighs, the back, as well as your hip strength. And then what you're also going to want to work on is your abs that's going to give you stability, but also your upper body, so your chest, so that you can push off players as a defensive player, but also your shoulders, so that when you're going up for a shot and somebody's hanging on to your arms to keep them down, you're able to fight through that contact and get an and one. So that's a very quick first tip that I'm going to give you. And also another quick, super quick tip that I'm going to give you is if you're in a, the low post, First off, you do not want to be on the block. The block is going to get you way too close to the rim. However, you can also use this to your advantage. So if you are bigger than your defender, then you could get basically back down your defender underneath the rim. You can go up for a quick hook shot and there's nothing he can do. But this video is going to be about shorter players. So the first move I'm going to show you is a move that you should be doing a bit farther out from the rim. So. You're going to get that ball, there's going to be a defender on you. The first, the, this first move is going to be super simple and super quick. What we're going to do is we're going to pivot with our right foot because we, we got the ball and we had both of our feet planted. We're going to use our right foot as a pivot foot. We're going to turn, we're going to take a shot fake. We're then going to be swiping through one dribble in and up. That's going to be a super quick move that you can use. A lot of taller defenders, they're very block happy, which means that when you turn and take a shot fake, you're probably going to be finding them in the air. So when that happens, all you're going to need to do is turn, shot fake, one dribble, bang. Super quick. You don't need to take a super high hop either. Just a quick short hop and get that ball in. Now, when you take that shot fake, you turn and you take that dribble, make sure your back is to the defender. That way you have a clean, basically line to the basket. And the only thing he's able to do is go over your back for that foul. Now the next move I'm gonna show you is just the quick turnaround fadeaway. So when you get this ball, when you get the ball in the post, whether it be in the low block or a bit higher, like I always like to use to start, you get that ball, both of your feet are your pivot feet. You now have an option. If you're left-handed, you can do really quickly to the left side and a fadeaway. I'm right-handed, so the quick fadeaway for me is to my right side. And all you're gonna need to do is use that pivot foot, turn, get your body squared up to the rim so that your shoulders are squared to the rim, and then you're able to go up for your shot. Now, fadeaway, like it's named, is you're gonna be fading away from the basket. Now. When you're fading away, make sure that your body is square. If your body is not square and it's a little bit to the left, your shot's gonna go left. If your body is a little bit to the right, your shot is gonna go right and you're gonna be trying to force it to go left, which isn't very accurate and very helpful to try and score. So what you're gonna do, get that ball, turn and do a fadeaway. Okay, so now to build on to that quick fadeaway, what we're gonna do is again, start in the low block. I always like to start on the first hash mark out. And then from there, what we're gonna do is take one dribble. In this case, we're on this right side. We're gonna take a dribble with our left hand. We're gonna take a dribble, big pivot, little hop step, and then we're gonna take our shot. Now, if you want, you can also add in a fadeaway as well. Okay, so what this is gonna look like is you're gonna get this ball, you're gonna take one dribble, and then fade away. Okay, so all of those are great moves to do, but you can now add on to this last move. You always wanna try and add on to every single move you have in case it gets defended. So what we're gonna do in this next move, we're gonna get, to, to get this ball. We're gonna take that hop step out. This time we're gonna be landing on both feet. We're gonna take that shot fake. We're gonna pivot with our right take a step forward with our left and we're going to jump off both and taking that shot. Now this is a really awkward shot so you really may need to make sure that you get your defender off the ground. If he doesn't get off that ground and you take that hop step out 
and he doesn't get off that ground, you either need to pass or do a shot fake and then a fade away. So there you have it. That's the moves for you. If you are an undersized forward, these moves are going to definitely help you score more in the low post. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys again tomorrow for another twice a day basketball video.